Alrighty, welcome back fellow gamers to just another Rats cast. Sorry right here as always. Oops. I'm trying to remember how to uh center this thing because it's not centered. There it goes. Uh I wanted to uh show this to everybody. as uh, it is a really beautiful game and it's only part of a game the guy is still working on it it's a um, wonderful uh, artist uh, Frenchman so if I can't pronounce the names I do apologize uh, because it's like I said he's French but um, if you know anything about the uh, kind of funny group he does a lot of their backgrounds and stuff you can go to his uh, Twitter or to his uh, Facebook uh, and check out some of the wonderful artwork he does. He just does some really uh, beautiful, beautiful work. And um, they had mentioned this episode uh, because apparently at the, at the time anyways, um, Mini Monocle was not featuring the uh, the game and so a lot, of, a lot of people had come over to check it out or download or whatever or play it and so um, I wanted to just really just come in here and show you guys this really beautiful game I played a little bit of it I was really excited I had a lot of fun with it uh, as a platformer so we're gonna actually continue from where I left off uh, it's a beautiful little game, and what it is is you you play this little like demon child. And this is the story right here. We're gonna go over the story for you. A long time ago, in a shattered a land shattered by war. Isn't that old shattered by war? Huh? A boy made of ash, with one burnt single eye, a burning single eye. Lives in the cold graveyards. I have no idea how to say that. Fl Flora? They called him around. The one name he ever knew. But. Ah, sorry, I didn't read that. But. He was really a demon. He was certainly a lonely boy. Only the dead talked to him. Because he could hear their sorrows. could help them to rest and go and even put their anger to sleep. Nobody would hear them. His own laments. Anyways, it's I mean it's a beautiful little story. It's um an unusual platformer. It reminded me originally a lot of the early um, a lot of the earlier uh, Mario's because when you run and you stop running he slides <laughs> he slides a lot um, so that can it can be a bit difficult sometimes Oops. we're actually gonna go come on back to the beginning so this is the beginning area that you don't don't really see much to show you that but give you an idea of how this game plays um, I mean, look at it. It's just it. This is just such a gorgeous little thing, and he did such a wonderful job creating this. All by his little lonesome. I mean, this guy. It's just. I mean, I understand dreams. I mean, Malkiel gives uh, creators just. Uh, ah, I died. You know, they give them all the uh, things they need to create whatever you want. I overshot again. This is what I'm talking about. I'm just <laughs> terrible platformers. Now, if you hit those yellow things, it teleports you backwards. So I'm trying to avoid them. Yeah, that's a checkpoint. 
I missed one. Die. Dang it, I didn't want to go over that. Shoot, I missed one again. Ah. Got it. Oh my god. I didn't think I was going to make it. I guess some of the areas have bonus areas. I don't know where they all are. I found one. Um, you can see the yellow dot over here. This was the bonus area I found. Um, I fell down a little area and it led me to a whole new area. So this little bonus spot, you have to figure out where they are uh, to unlock those. And then of course, the more uh, spirits you hold and, and collect, the higher up you can go and the more things you unlock. Like I said, it's very, it very reminds me a lot of like the standard Mario of chasing the coins or whatever. But just the fact that you are, oh goodness gracious, owie. Dang it, I missed the little. Ow! Go away. Oh. oh, crud. I made that time, yes. Oh man, I didn't think I was going to make that one. <coughs> I should go back for that one, but I'm afraid I'm going to just die doing it. Yep. <sighs> Got it. Nice. <coughs> Shoot. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Got to figure out how to get over that thing. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oi! Oi! Hey! Hey! Oh goodness, that was tough. What's this? <coughs> Green Angel will make your soup. Oh, okay. Nice to know. Oh! Oh god, no, not here again. <laughs> I'm not good at platformers. <laughs> Oh shoot, okay, I think I need to super jump over that. Oh crud, I almost had that. So I was just gonna say, I think I got this one down pat now. Oh, yeah, and then I screw up. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to get all the little orby thingies, but I want it, oh crud. I want to try to get all the little Orby thingies. Oh, 
Ja. Uh, what much is that thing? Okay. Ah! Well, this isn't like game over every time I hit it. I just have to start over again. Whoa, damn. Trying to avoid the one I hit the other one. Oh, God. That sounds almost like Sonic Spin. Like when they when he, when he revs up. Shh. Oh, die. Oof. Okay. Okay. We're gonna get over this eventually. We really are. I hope. <laughs> oh, I got it. Oh my goodness. I only missed two souls or whatever they are. Woo! Okay, wow. Got past that level. So I can't go this way because it looks like that the thing's so red, so I haven't unlocked it yet. I was afraid of that. Shoot. afraid of that. Dang it. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Oh, that was a close-up. I don't know why that got so close. Shoot, I got too close to that. Why do I keep doing that? See, there's nothing I can do. I can't really attack. <coughs> Shoot. All I can do is jump. If I can, no, I can't bounce off the wall again.
I'm not sure how you're supposed to get past that because there's not really a break between those. I mean, it's, it's a small break, but it's not much of one. And it's like, it's really difficult to know when to move. Shit, I'm too soon. Thought I had it at that time. Damn it! Too close again. Shit. Shit, I moved to I keep moving at the wrong time. I'm trying to get uh, underneath the one but over the other. Gotcha. Ooh. <clears throat> oh, that was it. Okay. Yay. So what we got here? As the spirits call, went away in peace and told his sad story. Uh, and he added, "What? I didn't see, read all that, Dan." Okay, so this is the story, Asenia, okay, the oldest of four kids with a loving mother, Maron, uh, he had to leave for war, <coughs> she told him not to, <coughs> but the son didn't want to risk punishment in the family. Then imprisoned the young man in the basement to save his life and told the Imperial Guard her son already left. Went. Attack the village by night. She could only hear the screams of his massacred family at Gloom. His head for days until he starved in the dark. Oh, that's horrible. Smells was on the end. That's the air. It's dense. There. There's no natural sound. Like if life escaped. Here forever. I could only hear muttered whispers of one massive ghost, one soul so sad and angry the entire mountain stood. Ooh, okay. Wow. Oh, did I go back and do the same thing again? I didn't mean to do the same thing again. I did. Shoot. Oh. 
I gain the level. <coughs> Don't put me back in the map because I didn't want to do that thing again. Okay. bonuses whoa <clears throat> that's a lot so I need three stars total and I've only have <coughs> two so I'm definitely have to do something over again or figure out how to do something better that means I keep trying to double jump but he won't go in the ring oh maybe because Jinx to jump higher I didn't get a lot higher when I double jumped into the ring See, there's something more I need to do there because I didn't get anything. There's got to be a secret. I can't imagine the, the water would be the secret because that just doesn't seem safe.
Dang it. And unfortunately, because this is, you know, an independent game made in dreams, there's not going to be like a walkthrough or anything saying, hey, here's the secrets of this level. I have to figure out my own. I come on, I got 80 that time. I got 490 last time. <laughs> I'm being cheated. That wasn't it. I can't remember what the secret was. Down here. That's right. Two more stars. Uh oh, shoot. or not I prefer not to
I was hoping to go back. Oh shit, I missed one. Go back then, no. This doesn't put me where I need to be. Land right on it again. Keep landing on that damn thing. Shoot. I need to get the double jump first before I go over. Go forward. And I'm not doing that. I'm doing the double. I'm doing the jump and then I'm. Jumping into it, or I'm doing the jump drop too late and landing on it. Oh, dang, I think it's the one soul. <laughs> so 
So I'm pretty much stuck here. I can't go any further until I figure out how to get the souls or how to get all the stars. And I'm not sure what the secrets are. Be something there. Oops. Oh, I see. Okay, that's how you do it. I'm not a speedrunner. This would be like, good for like people who do the Mario games. Especially the, the, the new one because there's a lot of speedrun thingies and I'm not a speedrunner. You probably get more points from the speedruns! Oops. Yeah, see, can I get any time bonuses? Oh, see, there we go, see? much better okay so I got me a bonus there so that's good so I just need to do that again one more place uh, let's try this one Uh, that's, 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 that's the problem is going to be done right there. Well, I got 600, which is not quite what I wanted. Dang it. 
Ah, crud. Well, 720 is better than I had before. Still not enough, though. I need to be in the thousands. Shit, which means I need to collect almost every... Shit. The thing is, is, it's been able to do this, the double jump, just right, so you hit the souls. Shit. But you jump over those teleport thingies. Dang it. Get up, please. That was less than last time. Still under. Still too far under. Maybe. Oh, I did get it. Whoa. Okay. Whew. Just need the bonus. Whew. Okay. I'm still what? Oh, because. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, I still need one more star. I thought I need... Okay. So I said it was at three. Dang it. Okay. God damn it. I died. Shit, I can't, I can't land on those spikes. Shit. God damn it. Shit. <laughs> Restart because we, I don't know, they're not here. Dang it. Dang it, I didn't want to start from here. Just get done with this, please, because I need to be out of here. 
I need the circle that button, not the X button again. God damn it. No. Start the level. Dang it. Hurry up. No, what am I doing back here? Seriously, you're gonna restart me back in the same sequence. So I gotta leave and come back. That is so not fair. That's definitely a design flaw, unfortunately. Okay, well... Okay, got it. All right. Oh. <laughs> Oof, okay. So now we got this opened up. Yay. Next area. Goodness gracious me. Tell you, this is tough. Words, sadness, isolation were still in the air, but there were now also something else, like maybe room for tomorrow. The boy was not sure what she meant, or even saw in his own eye. He didn't know his own purpose. Did he have a sad story too? And why did he feel the need to fix the world that wasn't really a part of? Or was he? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, okay. So that's the end of uh, part one. Okay, bravo, actually. I mean, I am not a huge platformer fan, by the way. I don't do a lot of the Marios. There was no way in heck I'm going to do that... Uh, that new one that's on Switch where you, you know, you, even when you create your own levels and do that, other people create, that stuff is not for me. I could never figure out those things. Uh, I am not that adept um, at these type of games. However, like I said, this uh, was a game that was um, introduced to all of the uh, kind of funny best friends uh, during uh, uh Kind of find game, games daily and was just really really beautiful and to find out that it was made in dreams 
I just wanted to check it out. I wanted to, to you know, look at it and stuff. Uh, see if I can promote it. And once I got in here, it's just such a beautiful game. I love the music. I love the aesthetic. Um, again, not a huge platformer. This is not really my type of game. But it was still fun. It was still in, in, enjoyable to an extent. And uh, a big shout out to uh, the, the gentleman uh, who created this uh, beautiful game. It was absolutely amazing. If you are into platformers, if you do love uh, these type of games, then this is definitely a game for you. Please check it out. Um, I said this is only uh, part one. He's still working on the rest of it. And again, it's a, it's a single made game by one person. If anyone has dreams and you make games for dreams, uh, perhaps you can see about lending him a hand. Uh, just because it is, it's a really well made game. And I think everybody should be playing this. It's it's beautiful. Uh, and I wish him all the best in uh, his game moving forward because he really does deserve uh, a lot of credit for this game. It was absolutely amazing. Do you? I think I've already given the thumbs up. Actually, I think I remember. Anyways, um, uh, so this is some of the artwork, and you can see where this guy's um, style of artwork is absolutely gorgeous. He's, uh, I, yeah, 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 there we go. He just does some really beautiful work. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. I think that's it. Okay, yeah, that's just that. That's it then. Um, so I guess I guess I took my thumbs off. Off. I wasn't sure, uh, but yeah, absolutely beautiful. Uh, please check out the game if you have the time. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see here. What's this? Hmm. <laughs> Clone Wars. Trick or treat. <laughs> Ooh, that looks like it could be scary. <laughs> kind of a me thing. Escape mystery. Wrath picks. Let's see. Let's check out this other game over here. See what else is here in dreams. Because there's always new stuff being added all the time. <laughs> Pip. Uh oh. Looks like Pip tried to have a rude awakening. Pip. Uh, Pip, you might want to open your eyes. 
Owie? Are you new to dreams? No! I've had it for a while. I don't play as much as I probably should. Super Speed Ruby. <laughs> He's a sloth. Damn it! <laughs> 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 We're gonna play the whole sloth routine. I love it. Mansion Turtle. <laughs> nice name. Okay, let's check this out. Oops. Dude, ah. how fast did he move? I couldn't see. He didn't. That was the problem. He was moving slower than Sin. It took him about 30 minutes <laughs> to get from point A to point B. Okay, so... Climb. Throw. Oh, that's the problem. Wave. Drop the music. Walk, zoom. Jump, fin. Interact. I don't know what fin means. To find them. Oh. Okay. Very simple. Very childlike. I really lit three that level, but the character is too fast. <laughs> Yeah, they would. He walked really slow, and then they did a thing where you'd, you'd stop and go ten minutes later, ten minutes later, ten minutes later, type, type thing. So it was just funny, <laughs> silly. I mean, he's still not moving like any faster than he was earlier. <laughs> just a little bit faster, I guess. So I'm guessing I'm looking for the little X marks. Okay, I gotta hold it, okay. In dead I worked on my game and music all day long by the way what is your specialty in dreams uh I just play the games I don't actually make anything I am not that talented <laughs> I bought it mainly to check out the little games and play the various things and really just to stream and showcase some of those games but I haven't been doing a lot of it, unfortunately. Okay, there's gotta be something else I'm missing, because there's I'm missing more gems. Oh, that's cool, mostly in making music. Nice.
Music's a good thing, something that everybody needs for their game. <coughs> ah, see, I didn't see this one. Or that one over there. Or this one over here. Okay, so now we're good. Dreams is actually really good for music even though in working with FL Studio 2. Ah, nice. Yeah, it's uh, they actually did a, an amazing job with this um, software for creating everything, you know, uh, music, imagery, artwork, um, just whatever you whatever you're creatively into. I think they did a really great job with it. I tried to work on just I was just trying to complete like just the basic stuff, and I was having a hard time trying to just create the levels I was supposed to be creating just to get into the into the sequence uh, of it so it's like yeah I don't know if I could create my own game <clears throat> uh, maybe I could figure out like the artwork type thingy I might be able to work on that a little bit I haven't tried um, to see, see how that part works because uh, I always loved uh, sketching and drawing okay well that was a thing ow what's your and that's a name? thing um well I'm sure it would be the same as my PlayStation account which would be cyperet everything's always cyperet throw oh okay that works. Oh, I missed one. Okay, nothing else over here. Cypher Red. Yep. Uh, no H. One word. Here. Yeah, let me spell it out. Cypher Red. Hmm. I need to throw some at this in again. If I don't have any, I have another log. Another log. Another log. I can't climb though. How am I supposed to throw something way up there? I'm way down here. Oh, I see. I've sent you a background music I made for games and I'm actually using it for my Parker game. Oh, nice. Oh, there it goes. Now with... Ah! Coolness. I'll go check it out in a second here. So it should be in your notifications and dreams. Cool. Alrighty. Um, as cute as this game is, it's definitely a little more uh, childish, I think, than I would like. But we're going to go ahead and say yay to that. And we're going to get out of here. Home space. Okay, where's the notification? It's on the top left inside the menu. 
There it is. Notifications. Got it. There it goes. Didn't want to go through for a moment. Okay. It's not my voice by the way haha ha, I found it because I was searching a voice to put inside my track then I just mixed it and now it fits pretty well. No, it just really good, yeah. Overall it's beautiful, it's very nice, very soothing. The music loops. The only criticism I would have had, because uh, I know you just you just looped the end to the beginning, so it just kind of continues, but it's it's very long, and I would have actually expected after that 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 one little bridge sequence, for the music to pick up again, for another uh, maybe a little jazzier uh, sequence before you dropped off again and then looped it to the. Uh, the music. Other than that, I think it's brilliant. I love it. Very nice. Thank you, sir. Actually, there was something else that was sitting there looking, waiting for me, too. I didn't see that. Ah. Huh.
I thought the same thing I could make a second version because originally I made it for my level so I made it fitting for it specifically boo. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Uh, but no, yeah, it was, it was, yeah, but you could always go back and fix it and, and, you know, the higher level you get, work on it and change it. Um, because I was, I did that one time too, I had a little, just playing around with a little music someplace. Uh, unfortunately, because I was in the game thingy, um, it didn't save. And when I went to go try to go to the music sequence to find, to, to try to do it, it didn't have the same... Musical s sequences, as a little mini game does to train you how to do the the, the creation. So it's like ah, but I wanted this sound. I like this sound. I like the way that that played. And so and I don't have the levels for oh, it. My so my is ton of music. If you need something, haha. -ha. Sounds good. I might have to look into that. Um, I think I did. I had this really cool little sequence, and I was not happy. I couldn't make anything with it. Alrighty. My aura. Okay, well, uh, do, 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 do. what's new? Lots of updates. Stop <laughs> doing that. I'm trying to. Interesting. I remember seeing something about that in the thing. Um, in any case, like I said, this game right here uh, probably got a lot of love again from the uh, what's from the kind of funny community because, uh, like I said, he does the backgrounds for um, the games daily which I mainly is all like based on actual various games or whatever but so he does such a beautiful job in the background come up with all the images and stuff and um uh just the base piece for background that they, they, he, he does some great great artwork uh again go check him out on facebook or on his twitter account and uh if you have the chance to play the game please do um he's a brilliant game like I said, I'm not a huge platformer, but I thought it was absolutely wonderful. And uh, it really deserves some love and attention. So that's why I came down here to to play that, really. Because I wanted to showcase that, because I just thought it was just... I said, what it was type just... of music do you like? And sure, I will check it out. Um, well, my taste in music tends to vary quite a bit. Um, being that I'm an older gamer, I tend to stick with a lot of, uh, classic rock, but I do like a lot of more, uh, alternative and uh, more adult contemporary stuff, uh, but I tend to get into a lot of, like, uh, techno, and, uh, some of the heavier stuff or some of the lighter stuff as well. Uh, so, big huge fan of, like, groups, uh, like KMFDM and Ramston, uh, just a really hard metal tech, uh, as well as some of the, the lighter, crazier stuff. I, I know what, I, what it is about, but techno, but I just love the sound and the creativity, uh, that is involved with, with the techno side of music. 
But yeah, I, I guess I have I have a really wide variety of music. So, but like <clears throat> when it comes to video games, though, I love a lot of the music that the um, developers put into the games. The music is just just fits the game. I love listening to it. I love. Just going over the sounds, uh, really huge uh, asthma, atmospheric uh, music. Uh, when I was younger, I literally used to play the soundtrack uh, for Star Wars, the, the 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 original, the actual soundtrack soundtrack, and I would listen to uh, the albums, all of them, I had all three of them. I used to listen to them constantly because I love you know the beautiful orchestrated sounds and, and uh oh, nice i've sent you a techno track it's short but i like it oh cool you know just again it says i just love that type of music so i'm i'm very um you said i'm kind of all over the place as far as music goes so this was a minute ago Oh, dang it. No, 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 no. Okay. There it goes. Couldn't get the play for a moment. Very video gaming. <laughs> Now this would work good in like uh, like a 16-bit or 32-bit graphic uh, video game. Maybe like an action platformer where you have you know maybe you're running around shooting enemies with you know guns or something, and uh, you're having to move through the levels and stuff. You really you know. But yeah, that's pretty cool. It does. It has a very, very 16-bit uh, graphic sound to it that would work great for that uh, style of, of gameplay. Very nice. True. No, but that type of music is important too because when you... Again, like I said, to, when you have a game, if the music isn't right... Uh, then it hinders the game. So having having the the right soundtrack and the right music to fit uh, the game is really really important. And I think that is always um, something that uh, artists, especially when you're working with video games, are you know when they were able to create different soundtracks and different styles of music to go with you know with, with anything. It makes their their usefulness greater because then you're not stuck to just one style of music. Um, so like the first one was very atmospheric, which would be great for like something like I don't know like like the way Journey was or something like that where you're just moving through the world. Um, even the game I was just playing, uh, Floret, which is just just very atmospheric sound. Very beautiful, very, uh, the, the, the world that was just stunning. Um, 
just a gorgeous world and that music just fit the flow and like I said that same thing that first song you gave me kind of reminds me of that style uh, of gameplay even if uh, even that was though as a platformer it's just because it was the atmospheric style of the game um, it's not like a Mario game where you're frantic and you want this bubbly upbeat sound you wanted something that was more subdued and went with the atmosphere of the gameplay which basically is this small little demon child who's grabbing these souls I and trying to release music for my heart atmospheric parker game and you literally said journey which is graphical similar yes that that's what it reminded me of uh and i love journey it was one of my favorite games um so but yeah you know kudos to you for that those they're they're brilliant uh well done on both of those and i hope uh, not only that you cre keep creating, but that some of these wonderful, talented people here uh, might be able to find your stuff and use it in one of their games, because I think you have a lot of talent, a lot of raw talent, and I hope that gets nurtured more, and you're able to really develop and pick up uh, more followers, and hopefully, like I said, get some of your stuff uh, published in some of these games, because you really do a really good job. So kudos to you for that um, brilliant work. Oh. In any case. Thanks. I love making music for everyone. I, I yeah. I I'm no doubt. Ah, let me go there. Hidden treasures. Hmm. Let's check this out, shall we? Since we are here and we're just having a little bit of fun. Oh, goodness. So it's a first person game. Super Califragilis Disexpialidocious, I just heard your text to voice and had to see it. Your advice is good too. <laughs> I'm already crying because finishing the demo version of my game is still a ton of work. Yeah, I, I bet. Yeah, yeah, making games is not easy. That is for sure. Even though they give you a lot of great tools and they help you out a great deal in this, it still is quite... Um, come on, run. He's not running. If he is, he's not running very fast. I finished version 5.4 and the demo version is finished at I guess version 8.2 or 9. <laughs> oh. Oh. That it? I never know because I know some, some of these games are really short because people start working on them. But oh no, okay, we're just in a new area. I mean, it's... Ooh. That's a big fall. I think it's a pretty nice-looking game. I mean... We you can't expect much, unfortunately, because Dreams is. So, and if you fall in my Parker game, you will have to start from the beginning. Okay. Dreams is very limited, unfortunately. You can't make like these huge graphical leaps. Um, like there's no way in heck you could make an actual Uncharted game. Uh, you can get as close as you can, like this is, but I don't think you can actually do something that spectacular because it's just it's not possible I hope I'm going the right way because I have no clue okay 
Griff. Sorry for interrupting you but the voice to text has about 3 or 4 seconds delay so I can't really control it. Yeah, I know. You're not the first person. Don't worry about it. It it happens with everyone. And I have just learned to text to voice. I've learned to take it as it is because again I know how the system works. Um So I don't get mad if someone interrupts me because I understand. Uh, you guys don't mean to do that. It's just part of the program. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going. Oh. Oh, okay. But maybe a bit quieter so you can talk over the text to voice. It's not that big of a deal. I'm sure I could figure out how to do that. I never bothered. So I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Okay, there's a thing over there. Over here. So I like the music to this. This is really good. Uh, and the and the uh, sound design for the game was perfect. You like the the birds and stuff you got to hear earlier. Just leave me in the same place? Yes, it did. <laughs> My I only like thing. The atmosphere, but the footsteps have default sound, and I guess it's the default puppet. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. The same thing. The default footsteps is kind of off-putting. It's the only thing about this game that um, I don't like. And I wish that um, <clears throat> there was more variations in, in Footfall so that you can get a better sound. But yeah, it doesn't sound... It's too video gamey. It doesn't sound like actual footsteps. Ooh, wow. See, now, I wish you could actually see the character and get more of a sense of the wind because, you know, you can't really see winds unless you make, like, cartoonic wind currents. <coughs> you can hear the wind, but you can't really sense the wind. You can completely edit the footsteps based on environment or just pick a character from the user made ones. Mm. <coughs> other than that, I think the game is. I mean, there's not much to this, it's just walking I mean, around. You could have. Yeah, no, you could have. Yeah, you're right. <coughs> I mean, it's... This guy did a beautiful job re about creating this game. Even though there's really not much to it. It would have been nice to have, like, a few puzzles here and there. You know, something that was a little bit more, uh... You know, Tomb Raider, uh... Uncharted style. Versus just mindlessly roaming through a dungeon. 
but the atmospheric sound design is really well made. Oh no, no, that's absolutely gorgeous. And the visuals, um, the game is beautiful. I mean, it really is. Even for the more limited uh, graphical capacity that Dreams has, it's still really, really gorgeous. Is there something I'm supposed to do with this? Oh, I can't interact with it. I don't know, I just feel like I'm missing something. You know? I'm currently using simple but nice visuals like Journey did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes it's it's not you know, the 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 journey is you know, the important part of the game, nothing else. Okay, well, whatever the hidden treasure was, it was very hidden. <laughs> but I liked it. I still like it. I think it was really, really good. I think it was, again, it was it was beautiful. It was very atmospheric. Um, the music and sound choices were really good, ex except, for, of course, for the footfall. Um, other than that, yeah, the Heat did a great job with this. It was very nice. Thank you very much for this game. Um, <clears throat> so Chris Red Walker 6 guys if you guys have dreams please check him out <clears throat> this one looks like it would be scary <laughs> I keep saying that I keep passing it by like oh should I look I don't know. All right. Let's check this one out. Ooh. Oh, it's in Japanese. Okay. Square or Okay, I can do that. Whoa. Ow. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Can I send you the in-dev version 2.0 of my game? Sure. It's a very early in-dev version, so basically early, early alpha, so just to get a feeling for. Right, right. Oh, goodness gracious. That's a big skeleton. Ow. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ow. Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay, this is I'm not doing I'm not doing very good. I'm not doing very good. Nope. I'm not doing very good at all Okay, well that didn't go very well <laughs> Got him Beast we have to do skeleton first, okay, well That was a much tougher than I thought it was gonna be I send it to you alrighty Come on, please, click notification. Okay. Flow. Whoa, whoa.
Okay, well, I can't. Okay, I gotta get back on here so I can jump on the other one. Ah! Over jumped. Goodness gracious me. Oh, goodness. I'm never gonna do this. This is why I don't play Mario games. <laughs> ah, crap. <laughs> oh. You're supposed to get all the way up here? Oh. Hell no. <laughs> I like the colors. Oh, no, the How colors are nice. It's. I know. It's. It's. Very stylized. I like it. It's definitely uh, etheric. I think it's the best word for it. You know, kind of airy. Um, I'm a big fan of blues myself. So, and it definitely looks like you're you're wandering in a dream versus. You know reality but there is no way in hell I'm completing this game because I am terrible at these type of things I mean that the literally you version will have way more design and is way longer yeah uh, because you'd have to be able to, to perfectly time your jumps from one to the other to get all the way up to that wall sequence and then again through and I'm terrible at that type of stuff I'm always missing my jumps and I would constantly be crashing to the ground and then I'd give up after a while because I'd be, you know, just frustrated. <laughs> um, but no, it's a very nice design. Looks really cool. I'd love to get up there and see what, what's, what's up on top. But It's called flow because you can get trough without slowing down. Understand. It, it makes it makes perfect very sense. Very surreal. But... I like it. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's, it is it is very surreal. And again, it's beautiful. But unfortunately, like I said, I'm not a huge platformer fan. I'm terrible with the, with the timings and the, and the quick jumps and the whatever. I would never be able to get it myself to get all those timing done to get all the way up there. I'd, I'd constantly be falling down and having to do the whole thing over again. And I would get really frustrated really fast. Uh, which is why I don't play a lot of platformers. <laughs> Uh, but no, beautiful job, sir. Thank you very much uh, for On showing that to me. A robot wandering around. Nice. Uh, so anyone who's watching the game, if you have dreams, please go check that out as well. Um, brilliant job. I like the music. I think it again it fits well with the atmosphere of the game. Uh, again, very etheric. Uh, like I said, it's it's kind of like you're moving through a dream because the very hazy, uh, distorted colors, I like it a lot. Uh, but again, like I said, not my type of game, unfortunately. I don't do a lot of platformers. I don't do well in platformers. Uh, I'm your basic hack and slash guy, dude. <laughs> give me a Diablo or God of War or something to that fact. I'm a happy gamper. You give me Mario and I'm just in in sheer pain and agony <laughs> oh, I, th I think I maybe that's I think it's probably why I liked Sega so much and I liked uh, Sonic because Sonic didn't have its I mean it had some platforming elements but they weren't like the gist of it it was just running as super fast as you could and get to the end of the the thing and you could usually do that with as few as jumps as possible. Because uh, most of the time you were springboarding from one point, point A to point B. You didn't have to actually jump on platforms. And when you did, usually you were going so fast that when you hit those platforms, you, you just automatically hit the platforms. You didn't have to actually time jump. You were just running straight through. Um, where if you had to constantly run and jump, I couldn't do it. I could not do it. Um... But still, very nice. Uh, brilliant job. Thank you for sharing. Uh, thank you for sharing with everybody who's here watching. 
And um I don't make games. I love to do sculptures and I animate them a little bit. Nice. If you want to check some of them out, my name is Gogo -Go Saint. Gogo -Go Saint. Okay, let's go look up Gogo -Go Saint. Let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. I think you gotta go search. Do, 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 do. Is it lowercase? Okay. Ah. I have a character model of the simple robot. It is controllable, but not meant to be controlled. It's the robot wandering on top of the island. Nice. Okay, am I reading this, writing this wrong? Because I'm not finding anything. It is all one word. Oh, all one word. Okay. And the G's are lowercase, right? It's still showing me the same stuff. You're re-looking at three of them right now. Oh, so th all those are yours. Oh, shh, taco. Dang it, I hate when I do that. Well, see, it, it doesn't show a name, so I wasn't sure if that was you or not. And I'm like, well, am I looking at the right thing? So all these three are yours. Ah, okay, cool. Whoa. Go goes ain't really well done. Very nice. Wow. Nice work. Thank you. <laughs> Honey, where are you? I have been looking for you all day. Oh, you're in here playing with that dream of burst thing again. <laughs> yes. Who is this little purple child of yours? What are you doing? Making another man? Oh my goodness. And what? Is this birthday cake for? You know it's not your birthday. We have the same birthday, and it ain't your birthday. What are you doing, having a party with a little purple man? 
I, I just don't understand what you're doing. I'm just, I'm just going to leave and leave you to this foolishness. I will talk to you later. I am going to go have some greens and <laughs> fried chicken. <laughs> Interesting, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> I don't know where you got that uh, uh, thing from. Uh, the audio, that was nice, that was funny. Uh, thank you, thank you for sharing, that was brilliant. brilliant. <laughs> uh, very nice work, that's for sure. Um, Yeah, like I said I'm I'm not much of the creator type. I just like to play things and check things out and look at everything. Uh, but if yeah, if you uh, want to check out some of the wonderful stuff in Dreams, I really suggest doing so and picking it up uh, while it's still in its uh, kind of early access. So I believe it's still forty dollars uh, to pick up now. I don't know if they're going to charge more when the full game comes out. Whenever that decides, they decide to bring that out. Um, but still, there's a lot I've to do. I also this sent you the robot concept. The graphic is simple, but it works with the overall design of my game. Nice. Um, like I said, it's uh, there's a lot to do and see. There's a lot to check out. Oops. Ah, didn't mean to do that. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Funny. It's crazy little robot. Lol. Its eyes is in its pelvis. From where I thought is it is feet backwards? Or no, its feet's not backwards. The way it walks is just it's kind of weird. I think it's funny but interesting, haha. -ha. No, it's it's. I think it's kind of cool looking. It's a weird little thing. I like it. Yeah, love it. Okay, beautiful. Great job there. Okay. <laughs> Great job, everybody. Thank you guys. Uh, both you guys for sharing with me some of your creations. I appreciate it so very much. I um, wanted it to look alien like I guess. Yeah, it does look very alien. It does indeed. Um kind of like a bony alien. I'm not really sure. It's, it's really strange. It's unusual. I like it. Uh, in any case, thank you guys all for being here and being part of the show. Uh appreciate all of you guys stopping in, checking out the channel, and checking out dreams. Again, it is really worth checking out and playing. Uh, if you haven't already, and if you think about, uh, if you're somebody who wants to create your own artwork, game, music, whatever it is, this is a great place to go. It's a great little community. Um, and you never know, like I said, you might get some of your stuff shared uh, in someone else's uh, dreams. So go check it out and have a great time playing. Uh, With two this. huge legs and a small head, now it needs a sloth on top. <laughs> Ty Gyro love the robot. All right. Again, brilliant job, guys. Thank you very, very much for sharing. Um, as always, I like to remind everybody if you're new to the channel and you are enjoying uh, the content, please follow along, subscribe with you, watch us live on twitch.tv. Thanks, very simple, but it works. Or later on YouTube.com slash Raskas. I appreciate it so very much. Um, put the notification button on as always. Uh, if you'd like to help out the channel, please don't forget to sub to my channel. I am still, this is only like my second month as an affiliate, so uh, please and thank you. It helps out a lot. Um, 
again, for anyone who knows, I am trying to, to build this community, build this channel, and hopefully uh, make enough money that I can actually get a capture device so that I can bring you uh, better game graphics for um, viewing and recording so you guys can see things a lot clearer. I know sometimes um, the game graphics can get really bad. Uh, depends on internet signals. My, right now my internet is pretty good, thank goodness. So I'm getting much better graphics, but I know in the earlier days uh, some of my visuals are just really horrific because it just there was not enough internet uh, to pick up the game for me to play it and for me to stream it and it caused all kinds of problems. Um, so I'm hoping again if I can get the graphics card they'll help alleviate some of that problems as well. Plus I'd be able to capture things better and maybe do some editing after the facts when I post it on YouTube. I can give a more direct version of what I was trying to do in on this live streams. You know, cut out some of the bull and uh, especially in the games when I'm constantly dying and have to repeat myself 20 million times. Um, I have no many, I have no idea, idea how many times in Alien Isolation when I played it the first time that I spent hiding, running and hiding in closets more than I did getting anywhere. I mean, I mean, I must have spent several episodes just trying to get to the medical bay because I was so frightened of the alien that I couldn't, I didn't want to leave. Uh, and that, yeah, that thing scared the piss out of me on a regular basis. <sighs> I still can't watch it. If, if he eats me, if he comes at me, I still can't open my eyes. I have to close my eyes every time when he's, every time he's near me. He's like, oh, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. He's gross. Nice show. Looking forward to the future. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um... Also, don't forget to check out my YouTube channel. Got lots of content for you there. All kinds of fun and games. All kinds of different stuff. Uh, so please go check that out. The description is down below, of course. Um, give us a thumbs up while you're there. And as always, please make sure you guys come back for more uh, fun and entertainment here on the Ratscast. Again, I thank you guys so very much. Uh, for being here and being a part of the show. I am going to go ahead and raid uh, my buddy Sean B. Period, who's a wonderful guy. And he's playing a little Fortnite, so if you're into Fortnite, that's a good thing. Uh, but thank you guys again so much, like I said, for being here. Hope to see you guys on the very next episode of the Rats Cast. This is Cybrat signing out for now. Later, bye.